welcome back. I'm Mr. Hoffman, your piano teacher. Today we're going to be learning how to play Five Woodpeckers. In order to learn this song, first we're going to tell a story and sing it together. And I need your help telling this story. And when the story's done, I'm going to ask you what it is the woodpeckers were looking for. So if you could be listening for that during the story. First, why don't you put up your left hand, and this will be the tree in our story. The tree the woodpeckers are all pecking at. And then make another shape with your hand that's kind of like a woodpecker head. And here goes the story. The first woodpecker was not very brave. So he liked staying near the ground where it was safe so he wouldn't fall. And he pecked down here on the tree. Woodpecker tap, tap. Woodpecker number two was a little bit more brave. So he pecked right here. Woodpecker tap, tap. And woodpecker number three was even braver. Woodpecker tap, tap. And woodpecker number four was even braver. Woodpecker tap, tap. And woodpecker number five was the bravest of all. Woodpecker tap, tap. Looking for a bug. Yum. Now, do you remember my question? What were the woodpeckers looking for? If you said a bug, you're right. Did you know that under the bark of a tree, there are all kinds of bugs that live in there? And woodpeckers, when they're pecking, they're not trying to make noise. They're trying to hunt for food. They love bugs. And that's what they were looking for. Now, we're going to sing the song one more time, and I'd like you to sing along with me this time. And see what you notice about the notes, how they move up and down with the, with the woodpeckers. So make your tree again, make your woodpecker head, and here we go. Woodpecker tap, tap, 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 looking for a bug. Yum! Great job. Now we're ready to learn how to play it. So what I'd like you to do is hold up your right hand about level with your face and we're going to move your fingers. So I'm going to let you see the back side of my hand and try to make your hand look just the same as mine. With your five fingers, here's woodpecker number one. Remember, he's the one who's the most scared. So he stays low to the ground. So this one will make the lowest note as we play it on the piano. So just with your hand up in the air, let's practice moving our fingers for this song. <clears throat> Here we go. Woodpecker tap, tap. Now try woodpecker number two. Woodpecker tap, tap. Now try woodpecker number three. Woodpecker tap, tap. Good. Now try woodpecker number four. Woodpecker tap, tap. Good. Now try woodpecker number five. Woodpecker tap, tap. Now each woodpecker is going to get one more turn. Looking for a bug. And then woodpecker number one gets one more turn. Yum. Great. Now let's try the whole song together without stopping. Hands up in the air. Here we go. Starting with woodpecker number one. Woodpecker tap, tap. Wood. Pecker tap, tap, wood, pecker tap, tap, wood, pecker tap, tap, wood, pecker tap, tap, looking for a bug. Yum. Great job. When you feel good about how you did that, let's go to the piano and we'll try playing it on the piano. When you go to the piano, you're going to need to put your five fingers, which are your five woodpeckers, on the notes C, D, E, F, and G. One finger for each note. Remember, now we're on the white keys. So first we've got to find C. Come over to the piano and point to the note that is C on your screen. If you're pointing to this note, you are correct. That note is called C, and that's where R thumb or finger number one is going to go. Remember, when your thumb plays, it plays on its side edge, not on its tip like your other fingers, but just let it rest on its side edge on the note C. 
and then your other fingers will be relaxed and curved on their keys. So it will look like this. This is the shape you want your fingers to be in when they're resting on the keys. Notice your thumb is on its side and your other fingers are on their tips. Not tightly curved like claws, but just relaxed and gently curved. Except for your thumb, which doesn't curve. It rests on its side. <clears throat> now we're ready to try playing five woodpeckers. Remember, we're going to start with finger number one right here. I'll play it one time, and then you can try it with me by rewinding and trying it again. Here we go. Woodpecker tap, tap, wood. Great. Feel free to rewind and try that as many times as you need to. Or pause it and practice it a little bit until you're able to play it along with me and sing the words. When you're able to do that really well, let's try it another way. This time we're going to sing the letter names to practice the letter names while you play Five Woodpeckers. So let's try it one more time. Remember to keep your fingers curved and relaxed when you play. If while you play your fingers start sticking up, just take a break and relax and remind them to stay in this shape while you play. Sometimes it helps to let your hand bounce a little bit as you play to keep your fingers relaxed. Notice when I play the first woodpecker, I let my whole hand bounce a little bit. Now, let's try the whole thing again and we're going to say letter names. Remember to stay in good piano posture the whole time. Here we go. C, 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 D, 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 E, 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 F, 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 G, 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 F, E, D, C, C. Great work. Remember, to become excellent at playing the piano, it takes a lot of practice. Your first time, maybe your fingers didn't stay very relaxed, maybe you missed some of the notes, and that's okay. If you keep practicing, don't give up, play it lots of times until your fingers look great, and you will become excellent at playing this song. When you get really good at the right hand, try your other hand. Remember that your two hands are built opposite from each other. So in your left hand, you'll be starting on your pinky as your lowest finger. And your thumb is your bravest woodpecker on the highest note. So you'll need to put your pinky on C for your left hand, like this, and play five woodpeckers starting on your pinky. Like that. Try that for a few days, and then when you're feeling really brave, you can try both hands at the same time, which takes a lot of concentration. So don't give up. Keep practicing and have lots of fun playing. Thanks for coming, and I look forward to seeing you at our next lesson.